Welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. Hi, I'm Tom Kearns, and I'm here at the Grafton Peace Pagoda. It's a beautiful Buddhist monument up in the mountains of New York State. And I'm here because May is the time that we celebrate the birth of the Buddha. The Buddha taught us how to live in peace, how to be kind and generous with one another, and how to alleviate the suffering of this world. And that's why we honor his birthday in May. Now, May is going to be a very special month with a lot of nice aspects, and here is what they mean for your sign. The month begins as Mercury conjuncts Uranus on May 1st. Virgo, the month begins with curious Mercury conjunct unpredictable Uranus in your ninth house of the higher mind. Now, this may open you to new possibilities of understanding the world beyond your mere personal experience. So you need to study and gain insight into the importance of abstract ideas. The conjunction of Mercury to Uranus helps you explore the nature of the mind itself. But you also must use common sense. Allow your genius to shine, but control your will. Do not be unpredictable. Saturn turns retrograde on May 11th. Saturn retrograde is always a time for review. And when he's going through your sixth house, you must learn from your work experiences. Have you gained a sense of personal satisfaction and accomplishment? Or is your work depressing and frustrating? <laughs> you may feel you are working under stress, but not getting value. If so, try to get a new job. Your health and energy will suffer if you don't take care of yourself first. Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and this is my story. If you are a spiritual seeker, it may help you on your journey. I believe your spiritual development is as important as your religion. If you look at Christianity, it focuses on the life of Jesus. But Jesus was never a Christian. He was Jewish. If this thought intrigues you, you'll enjoy my new book, Light from Water, Freeing Jesus. It's available on Amazon.com and through fine bookstores. And it may help you on your spiritual journey. Jupiter turns retrograde on May 14th. Jupiter goes retrograde in your fifth house of love and romance. You need to take time to reevaluate what you've been doing for the past few months. Love and romance have been exciting, and there's been plenty of opportunity for creative growth. Your tendency will be to keep on riding the wild stallion, but you would do better to give it a bit of a rest. Now you must think about what you really want. Pleasure is fun in the short term, but love takes commitment. Mercury conjuncts Venus on May 22nd. Virgo, the conjunction of Venus and Mercury at 10th house of status will help you get ahead through career involvements. If you've ever had to sweet talk someone or make an important sales presentation, this is the time to do it. You can feel what your audience needs, and you can understand how to sway their thinking. Take new opportunities and close the deal now. Mars sextiles Uranus on May 25th. Virgo, the pace picks up with an exciting Mars-Uranus sextile. Mars in your seventh house of partners stimulates your need to stand out. You may come before the public, and you need to cooperate to really be successful in joint ventures. Remember, two heads are better than one. The lively sextile Uranus in your ninth house of the higher mind may open a new world of understanding. Follow your visions, for you have an opportunity for spiritual growth. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. Please subscribe to my channel and share these, all these videos with your friends because they are free. Isn't that a great thing? <laughs> and
And if you'd like to know more about your own personal horoscope, go to my website, ProfessorAstrology.com. Go to the readings page, and there you can order a chart based on your time, date, and place of birth, and you can get a transit chart that'll tell you what's coming for the next 12 months. Again, I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening, and I hope you have a very great month.